Hi Virgo, welcome to your Rune Scope for the month of August 2013. My name is Amanda. Um, this is a general look um, at August, what August holds in store for all Virgos. So this is a very general reading. Um, do uh, watch the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you more details and kind of maybe fit those puzzle pieces together a little more. Um, if you'd like, I also offer consultations via Skype. It's $65 for half an hour. Um, if you'd like to set up an appointment, just contact me at the email address and the details for this video. As far as the start of August, I feel like you are dealing with something that has come out in the recent past. Something that was hidden from you has come out. Um, uh, things that you thought were just fine and dandy and going well, um, somebody threw quite a monkey wrench in by giving you some information that just kind of disrupted, you know, something that you thought was going pretty well. Um, so this could have been a skeleton that somebody had in their closet that they didn't tell you about. Maybe you were dating someone and then found out they had a family in Argentina or something. I mean, you know, it's something like that. Um, it could also be at your job. Maybe you thought that you everything was going swell and your work performance was great, but then you go in for your performance review and your boss says, you really need to work on this or, or you're not going to be getting the raise that you thought you were going to be getting. So something has disrupted a situation and it kind of came out of left field and kind of blindsided you. Um, so in the present, you're, you're, I see you still kind of in August picking up the remnants of that. This will carry over into August, but I do see you kind of coming to grips with what has happened. You know, for those of you that are dealing with a relationship situation, that has gone wrong. Again, this can be work or personal relationship because I've got the partnership card here. So for some of you, it will be in, in a close relationship, uh, a marriage or uh, a boyfriend, girlfriend scenario or um, a work partnership, maybe both. M maybe you're married and you have a business together. Um, this is gonna kind of affect all areas of your life, whether that's the case or not, just because when we're dealing with something big like this, it affects all areas of our lives. So there's going to be conflict in that close relationship. Um, what you can count on though is getting is all of the information is going to come out in August. Whatever pieces are missing, whatever you didn't know in the past is all going to come out. Okay, this could be from the person that it involves. You know, if this is a partnership and your partner was lying to you, then they're going to come clean. They're going to tell you everything. They're going to tell you everything. Um, and I feel like they do want to work it out. They, they do want to try to work it out. So it's kind of going to be up to you whether you can live with this. Whatever it is that they've done or whatever they've hidden from you, can you deal with it? You know, and this could be anything as small as, you know, they made a large purchase and didn't tell you about it. To you know, they've been having an affair or like I said, you know, they have a family in Argentina. Hopefully that is not the case. I really hope that they just went out and bought, you know, a bunch of computer or video game equipment or something. Whatever, you're going to be mad. You know, but I mean, some things we can deal with, some things we can put up with and some things we, we can't. And that's going to be your decision in August for a go. Can you deal with this? Can you get over this? Can you put up with this? Because I feel like this is not This is kind of a pattern of behavior too, if this is a partnership. This isn't the first time that things have been hidden from you. You know, you may have thought that, you know, you got so mad in the past that this per person had stopped doing these things, but you know, leopards don't change their spots. I've been having a lot of cliches in these videos, I'm sorry, but sometimes they just work. Sometimes they just really get your point, you know? That just gets the point across. Maybe you're waiting for a leopard to change his spots and that isn't gonna happen. It's futile, you're wasting your time. And that's kind of what my spirit guides are saying. Words, I feel like you're gonna get sweet words, you're gonna get you know, you're going to hear what you want to hear. If this is a relationship situation, I feel like for most of you it is. Um, 
but the truth is you need words don't matter what you need to look at is past action and the actions are never going to change this person if you keep taking them back are they're going to continue this pattern of behavior in the future some you may find out about some you may not I mean you know so I think in August you do have a big decision in front of you. So, well, for some of you, it will be bigger than others. Do you stay or do you go? Can you accept that whatever this person has done or can you not? Can you live with it? Because once you accept it, there's no going back. And if you keep accepting it, why should this person change? You know, if you keep accepting on the job, being paid less than you deserve without you know, maybe going over your boss's head and talking to, you know, just asking, you know, why does this keep happening to me? Or, you know, just ask questions if it's a, if it's a job situation. You know, why do I keep getting passed over for promotion? Why do I keep having to do the work of others and, but I don't ever get a raise, you know? For some, for some people, it's been years since they've had a raise in this economy, but yet work keeps getting piled on them. And as long as we keep putting up with it, they'll keep doing it. Of course they will. The economy will be bad for another 20 years if we keep letting this go on. So Virgo, August is a month for you to stand up and be counted. It is a month for you to stand up and say, I'm done taking this, okay? Remember, look to past action. Now, if you know if your lover has screwed up and it is a one-time thing, that's different. But if this has been an ongoing, if you've been together a long time and you keep get it, finding out these things that they've done, that hurt you, um, it's time to get out of that situation. And I feel like that there's somebody waiting for you to get out of this situation. Now you may not have met them, you may meet them in August, but they're just around the corner. And it's a better person for you. Somebody who could really offer you stability um, and new beginnings and more children if that's what you want. Um, and a big house big house I see a really big house and kind of like a, an established family traditions uh, this may be somebody who is very wealthy very well off Virgo um, waiting for you to ditch this loser <laughs> or or this could be a really like you know great place to work a company that has been around for a really long time they have a very rich history and they're established they're not going anywhere so you could go there and be there for years you know and, and leave this place that doesn't appreciate you and has just gotten used to taking advantage of you and taking you for granted so it's up to you as always it's, it's always up to us the cards will tell us what the possible outcome but and give us advice but ultimately the decision lies with us so this is basically you're gonna tell the August is tell the world what you're worth Virgo. That's what August is about You know, how do you see yourself because that's reflected in how you let others treat you How you let people on the job treat you how you let lovers treat you how you let your family treat you um, And if it's bad Then you You should get out of it It's time to make a move And like I said if you do take that leap of faith then only good things will be waiting for you because you've already come through the rough I mean the roughest of the rough I mean you've already been through some rough stuff so what have you got to lose really <laughs> you can only, it's only up from here so I mean that's what August is like a precipice and you can go even further up or you know you can climb back down so I'm gonna leave that with you. A lot to mull over. Big decisions like this are not difficult, but I feel like you know what you need to do. And if you're not, if you're not ready, you will be by the end of August. Just because, like I said, this information, you're going to be getting more information all through August about what's been going on or um, more information about what that has been hidden from you up until now. Um, and again, what is something that you thought was fine? And it's gonna take you a little while to process that, but by the end of August, 
you know, I think you're going to be ready to move on to a brighter future, a future that you deserve. So good luck this August. Uh, I think um, September will be full of good things for you. So definitely check back uh, in September for um, your RuneScope then. And thanks, Virgo.